My dearest Yomis. My stream has been chaotic and has little sense of direction lately. For that, I apologize. I want to get us back on course. I feel like, at the very least, I owe you guys an explanation. Right now, I'm in a situation that is dire. I need to get better in order to survive. I currently have no income, and there's a long road ahead of me. Over the past year and a half, I've met so many wonderful people, and they have opened up their lives to me on an almost daily basis. You share your success stories with me, your fears, your failures. I feel like, with a lot of you, I know you on a personal level. How many of you really know me? I think it's about time I share with you a little of me. All right. So who is Aurora? Well, maybe we should back up a little bit. Not more than 10 years ago, Aurora was an Aurora. I was a single mom, I worked a full-time job, and I was surrounded by friends. Or at least people I thought were my friends. You see, I've spent my whole life working towards one particular goal. Get people to like me. For the first eight years of my life, I was an only child. I was spoiled rotten. I lived with my mom and my grandmother, and there was so much that they couldn't give me financially that their way of making up for it was to kind of let me do whatever I wanted. Aurora could do no wrong. So I grew up, and I did all the things that I wanted to do, and I didn't think of consequences much. All of that led to a sequence of events that put me in a situation where I didn't have a choice. I had to push forward. I had to become an adult. I had to do these things right now if I wanted to survive. I had a young child and I needed to take care of him. So I hiked up my proverbial boots and I embarked on becoming an adult. After a lifestyle filled with partying, I was lucky enough to be given an opportunity to make something more of myself. I got this amazing job which is going to provide me with more than enough for myself and my son. I was making a substantial paycheck, and for once in my life, I had enough money to not only do the things that I needed to, but also the things I wanted to. I met my now ex-husband, and we soon married. I thought, this is it. Everything's fixed. Everything is the way it needs to be now. We purchased our home. I was set. And then I realized that I was really sad. When I told people that I was sad, they looked to me like I was crazy. What do you have to be sad about? You have a good life. There are many people out there that are worse off than you are. Be thankful for what you have. Don't focus on being sad. Focus on the good stuff. So for a while, that's just what I did. As time moved on, I never stopped being sad. I just became better at keeping it inside. I don't need to be happy, right? No one is truly happy. I had everything I needed. There was no reason to be sad. I have the job. I have the house. I have the kid. I have the husband. We're good, right? Wrong. As time goes on, I become sadder and more detached. Where I used to spend my weekends hanging out with friends, I now spend my time reading a book, watching a movie online, or sleeping. I become increasingly frustrated with my job, and it eventually gets to the point where I can't even bring myself to wake up in the morning to get to work on time. I mean, I literally can see my place of business from my bedroom window, yet I can't get there on time? So after some time and a lot of crying, I get offered this other job. I'll be working for my friend, but I won't be making as much money. At the time, it seems like the right thing to do. I was excited. This was obviously the answer to all my problems. So I did that for a while, and I really liked it. And yet, I was really sad. I spilled my heart and soul out to my husband, to which I got the same reply. How could you possibly be sad? So again, I sucked it up. And I moved forward. 
This went on for six years. Then one day I woke up and I decided this was the day that I was going to die. One thing you need to understand about me is that death is my absolute biggest fear. You hear people say things like, when your time comes, your time comes, and no one lives forever. But if it were up to me, we would. So for me to wake up and know that today was the day that I was going to die, that was huge. I felt really scared. I went into this huge panic attack. My heart was racing. I felt like I was going to puke. I was dizzy. And at the same time, I was planning my death. So right here, this is the moment that I knew I have to do something. So once again, I go to my husband. I get to listen to him tell me how selfish I'm being. He blames himself, but in a way that I'm supposed to feel sorry for him and feel bad for feeling the way that I do. So determined to live, we embark on a roller coaster adventure ride, which unbeknownst to me at the time was the beginning of the end of our marriage. We fight, we argue. Nor, and eventually we divorce. So now I'm free. I'm going to be okay again. I, I'm in this crazy happy world where everything is awesome and nothing bad can happen to me. But I'm alone. Now I'm not even leaving my house. I'm sad. I feel hopeless, empty. I have no purpose. I'm done. My child's no longer a child. He doesn't need his mother anymore. I have no purpose. Can't get a job because being around people scares me. I have the most anxiety I've ever had in my life. The idea of interacting with an individual or worse, a group of individuals terrifies me. About the only time I feel any sense of joy is when I stream. My stream keeps me going. It gives me a purpose. I do have a purpose. Not only is this my job, this is my therapy. This is my way to get myself back on the right track. So I pour everything I have into my stream. I stream for 12 hours a day, sometimes more. When I'm not streaming, I'm working on my stream from back end to improve my stream, proving to myself that I do have a purpose. Recently, I woke up, went to work on, went to work on my stream and realized I'm sad. The thing that has kept me going through all of this horrible mess now makes me sad. Wait, I don't want to walk away from this too. This can't make me sad. This is my purpose. But then it hits me. My job didn't make me sad. My friends didn't make me sad. My husband didn't make me sad. And my stream doesn't make me sad. I'm just sad. You don't have to have something to be sad about to be sad. So now I embark on this new adventure. This is the point in my life where I start working on me. While there are tons of things wrong with me, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm flexible. I can adjust. I have a whole life ahead of me, and what I choose to do with it determines where it goes. I'm working with doctors so that I start making right decisions rather than ignoring things. For a while, I'll still be sad. I will still have days where I feel like no one loves me and the world is crashing down around me. But what I won't do is lie to myself anymore. And that starts by not lying to you. This is who I am. I need to get better. I need to be able to support my family. And I will. You guys are amazing and you make me feel like I can be more. I love each and every one of you. Without you, my life would not be the same. So I'm going to continue working on myself so that I can continue to be with you. I need this community as much as it needs me. Probably more so. You guys are my family. All I'm asking from you guys is a little patience and a little understanding. Don't abandon me or our community. Together, we can do great things. We will do great things. It'll take time. But I can't think of anyone that I would rather have by my side during this adventure than my Yomi. All my love, Rue.